So I decided it's about time I started give, sharing my whole opinion into this game. Because, funny enough, I was doing my best to avoid reviews. I had my friends sending me, uh, I guess, opinion videos from other con bigger content creators that were just bashing on the game. Not knowing I had already, I was already like three, four hours into the game myself. And honestly, I do not understand where all this hatred for this reboot is coming from. Like for one thing, one pattern I've been seeing regarding like these high, these big YouTubers kind of talking trash about it. They're all on the PC port. So I don't know, maybe because I think this game's on Epic, the Epic Games, or maybe they just got a buggy port of it. Because I'm playing it on the PS5 and I have not run into any game breaking issues. I mean, there was one when I was uh, kind of just doing some side stuff, you know, collecting um, like collectibles. And I lost the ability to jump. But other than that, all I did was just reload the save and haven't had an issue since. So I don't know how people are like, oh, the game looks this bad. This it. To be honest, I have not run into anything like that. Maybe they can fix that with the PC version or I don't know about Xbox, but PS5 wise, nothing. And then another thing as well, I would say people are complaining about the story. I'm into, again, as of this recording, I've officially, not that far in, I'm about to, I'm around the part where they're just about to start the Saints. And from the looks of it, everything kind of has like its own little uh, purpose. If you play even a little bit close of attention, people were complaining about Kevin, which is, you know, the the you know johnny gat shirtless replacement that everyone seems to kind of dislike the funny thing is the game kind of gives him a decent explanation why he's always shirtless maybe he, when i keep playing it might not make a sense as much but during the beginning of the game he's running with the idols and during one of the missions uh you have to kind of steal back a vehicle or i think some part yeah you have to steal back a vehicle and just pay very close attention to the scene and just count how many other uh, shirtless people you see at this uh, idol's party. Again, not the best example I can give, but at the same time, you know, there's also the others, which mm, maybe as I keep playing it, their think backgrounds are going to make more sense. But so far, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. If you're wondering about the shooting, it honestly... Uh, when you first play the game, depending how you want to aim, I would say recommend. I'd recommend going into the settings because one thing I didn't realize is by default it's set to snap only, meaning uh, the game will snap to the person. But then, as soon, if soon, if they move out of the way of your aimer, you kind of have to re-snap onto them. And one of the um, aim settings was full lock, which I have it on. Uh, what's it called the aim will i mean the reticle will stay on them so long as they stay alive and then there's an extra setting in there where it moves to the next person so those two little settings being turned on does make the combat a little more fluid and a little more enjoyable and then i remember seeing a lot of a lot of complaints about this scene in general where your character kind of just wallows around can't even make waffles and anything like that and the funny thing is, the reason he's even acting in the first place is, uh, spoiler warning, he got fired. <laughs> That's pretty much just it. Again, at the very beginning of the game, and at the time of me playing it, I just saw it as kind of a joke uh, moment. I didn't. That's the thing with these games, too, is I'm just kind of playing it just to have fun. I'm not taking this, anything about this game too serious. But one thing I've noticed from other cre people... It, they're treating the central reboot like it was supposed to catch be on par with Grand Theft Auto, which central was always a parody of Grand Theft Auto, and I know this is a reboot, so that's what I'm treating. I'm treating it as its own, you know, spin-off parody of Grand Theft Auto, maybe in a different in a different direction, but at the same time, it's a reboot. So if you were a fan of Central One, Two, the Third, Four, I don't know about Get Out of Hell. Uh, pretty much you're going to have to kind of let go of those thoughts if you're going into this game. Because albeit the graphics are uh, kind of honestly pretty good in my opinion. At the same time, th these it's a new location. It's uh, new characters. Basically, we're starting fresh here. So if you've ever seen the cover for uh, 
Saints Row 1, how it kind of looked all gangst gangster and everything, you're going to have to kind of realize that that's the modern version of this reboot. Is This reboot is more meant for the newer people that, you know, probably never experienced the Saints or it, maybe the company, um, the company Volition's way of starting fresh, starting over with a new new idea, new characters. That's the way I've been kind of going at this with this game. At the end of the day, all I'm going to say is focus on having fun. Stop like treating this Saints Row reboot like it's supposed to be the game of the year uh, open world game. There's plenty of them that are going to be coming out soon. And if this game isn't for you, it's just not for you. Simple as that. If you're just going to be getting this game simply to, you know, see how the reboot is, is compared to the old Saints Row and you're just going to go into it to only for the reason of enjoying it for what it is, then definitely, yes, get get this game because if you're just going to go into it with uh, already a negative opinion on it, you're only going to be wasting your own money and time if you decide to even, you know, try out this game for yourself because that's pretty much all it is. The people that had no intentions of liking this game in the first place are the ones that are the ones giving bad reviews, giving bad opinions, saying all this negative stuff because they've already gone into it firsthand of not liking the game in the first place. Overall, to wrap up this video, bug-wise, I've not seen that many. Uh, than the few I have I aren't anything to be like trying to bash this game to be a 1 out of 10. They're really not that big of a deal. And eventually there will be fixes. But again, I've been playing on the PS5 version. And from the sounds of it, the PC port is the worst version. So, so it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of bias. If anyone's kind of saying, don't get this game, don't get this game. But they're only playing on a PC because results may vary. Go into this with your own thoughts. If you like the Saints Row games before, then you might like this one. If you didn't like them before, you won't like this one. It's as simple as that. But yeah, I just figured I'd make this video because I was seeing a lot of hate for this game. And it's only been maybe a few days. It's getting the same kind of hate as Cyberpunk. And Cyberpunk was understandable because that game was so horrible that the, I jumped at the first chance of getting a refund. With this game, I'm constantly just wandering around trying to explore and collect as much stuff, do the, everything I can. And yeah, I'm having fun. So there's two completely different things. This isn't the next cyberpunk game. It's just a lot of people are trying to treat it at that like it is. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, I'll be uh, trying to work on more videos as I can get the time. I was uploading more frequently, but I kind of stopped because, you know, quality over quantity. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later. Maldita puta mierda, pinche maldito hijo puta, pinche maldito culo de perro y verga de gato y todo lo que en jingada caga también. <laughs>